Fall is here and you're gonna be more excited to play with the different fall trends. You are seeing a lot that you are loving. You can't wait to be cozy and layer and really experiment because you just feel like the heat is so hard to style in. But you might be looking at some of these trends like I love them, but I'm not quite sure how to make them work or which ones are really the most wearable, not just for this season, but that you're gonna to wanna to reach for year after year after year. So that is what I'm gonna be talking about today. And if you happen to be new here, I am Jordan Blackwell, but my besties call me JB and we are like the JB babies, the JB boos, JBBs. Still workshopping a cute nickname for the crew if you have any ideas, please share your comments below cause your girl needs help. But I'm a former sustainable materials engineer turned lifestyle content creator, helping you find not just what's gonna look good cause baby, of course we're going to be looking good, but I want you to feel good too and that starts with finding pieces that are wearable that make you feel good and this fall season there are so many trends that i'm just loving and i really cannot wait to get my hands on that i know are going to look so amazing and feel amazing plus be pieces you're going to want to wear year after year so i already got my little coffee i have a lavender rose they were out of pistachio today which is all right the floral is really vibing and let's dive right into the very first trend and that is cherry red this should not be surprising burgundy is trending pretty much every single year and I love that because it makes it so easy to invest year after year or hop into the trend if it is something new to you. And this is just so wearable. Like the way I have been playing with this, a good burgundy bag, I have this tote from Marc Jacobs that I have been loving recently to pair with these boots from Zara. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? Because the boots matching the bag is definitely something that I love to do and play with, especially when I'm thinking about colors for the upcoming season. That's where I suggest you start. If you have been looking at the dark cherry red, wondering how to work it into your wardrobe, accessories is such an easy way to play with the color trends or even patterned trends. That's new, that isn't as risky, right? Because a pop of color is always going to turn heads and be a lot of fun. But at the same time, it is low risk, right? It's not like you're gonna wake up in a year, two years, three years, like I hate the color of this bag. And red just works with so many occasions. You have Valentine's Day, you have Christmas. Like there are so many reasons that burgundy is a safe option to add to your wardrobe. I also really love a good matching set. You have seen this one from Lulu's. Super cozy, super easy. This you can easily dress up for your nine to five or you can wear it casually around the house, cleaning, doing your chores for the holidays. It is a cute little look, especially for a date night. It's that perfect mix of just like, cozy yet functional yet fly like we're looking really good just in this by itself and there's so many ways that you can freak this at a bell big belts are having a huge moment they're a little bit more playful and boho to my preference but you can still play with like cool structure belts like the loewe belt or anything like that to add something a little bit unique your own personal zest to a matching set that is going to look so great for the fall season now another color trend is green. They're saying brat green, okay? But first of all, the brats really never were like deep into green. I don't know if any of you played with brat stalls growing up, but they were my absolute favorite. I remember me and my friend Morgan would literally stay up till all hours of the night playing dress up with our brat stalls and having just, you know, those fun imaginary scenarios. Good Lord, the amount of boy drama our brats had. Anybody else's brats have boy drama? Like why did we just put them through that? Like why would we do that? Like, why do we put them through that? They did not, <laughs> they did not deserve that. But brat green or really any shade of green is trending this season. And why I love that is because I always, always, always encourage you when you are looking at the colors, don't feel like you have to force it. And with the color green just generally trending, this makes it so easy because you can pick a shade of green that you personally love to wear, that you would like to wear year after year, whether that is a brighter green or you're looking at the darker greens. This gives you a lot more room to play around with green and make sure that it's a shade that's gonna work for you. Not just now in the winter, like I definitely have to think about the shades because I have winter shades that look good with my very light winter skin. And then I have other shades that I can play with and have more range in the summer when my tan is glowing and my skin is like, yes, baby, that vacation, that sun has been doing us right. <laughs> so that's why the brat green, like any green, is really gonna be a fun one to dive into and an easy one to dive into a lot like the red. You have a lot of accessories. I have these Nike Tecteras that are so fun. A bunch of different fabrics, a bunch of different materials, a mix of greens as you would. I just picked up this green sweater from Fashion Nova mm -hmm. because I also have some green knit pants that I'm seeing this like 
cozy, cool girl. You see that like a good cozy matching set. As soon as the temperature gets cold like that, that is where I be living because they're just so comfortable and so easy to style. Just giving very, very wealthy. Like to me, the matching set and the knit matching set is like the tennis court or like the workout sets in the winter. Like that is their just like sexy, cold weather friend. If you're trying to give just like quiet luxury old money, these do not have to be like loud or anything like that, but they're gonna be so cute and so cozy and you're just gonna see them everywhere. This next one should be no surprise because this is absolutely where I live, leopard print. Mm -hmm. Leopard print isn't going anywhere. However, I'm going to warn you, okay? Like it's getting, it's never gonna get played for me, but the types of prints I'm seeing is starting to get a little sketchy, okay? Like we're getting in that time where brands are like, okay, we get that leopard print is trending, but we're trying to just, throw anything out and see what sticks. Y'all know where I land on this. And if you don't, let me remind you, I like to stay true to leopard print as close to the colors as possible. So this pair of jeans from Fashion Nova, right? They're getting very close. They're very comfortable, super oversized. These are the kinds of animal print pieces I totally urge you to spend your money in if this is going to be a trend you wanna play around with because it's going to look classic year over year over year. Unlike some of the options I'm seeing, like Zara has a lot of like the faded leopard print and it's like some of that can work, but a lot of that just ends up looking like tacky and dated and worn and just seems to feel like it goes out of style a lot quicker. What I feel like not just for myself, but listening to a lot of my friends, like getting that more true to life, that more real leopard print color leopard or investing in like a color way that you personally like to wear all the time. Like for me, oranges and greens are always safe because I'm always gonna wear those colors year after year. Is the best way to make this wearable and something that you're gonna wanna reach for year after year after year, right? Of course, again, leopard print accessories. Zara has tons of these. They're doing an immaculate job, in my opinion. Also, these sneakers from Dolce Vita, right? There are tons and tons and tons of fun animal print options. And even cowhide is also having a moment. Again, not my personal favorite, but that's what I love about animal print in general. Again, you can always find one that you personally like. And to me, it's always gonna be in style. Like when one animal print is in style, the rest of them kind of have a moment and the opportunity to shine. So if you are into zebra print, if you are into the cowhide print, you can have fun even though leopard print's the trendiest one right now. There's literally nothing wrong with playing around with whatever animal print makes sense to you and your style and makes you feel amazing. Another top trend that honestly to me is not a trend, it really is about choosing the right piece, oversize. Oversize is having a moment again this year. Think jackets, think oversized tees, think like built-in shoulders. We're seeing a lot of that this fall season and there's so many ways to play with this. The hard part of course is going to be you need patience when it comes to this trend in my opinion because oversize is so tricky, especially if you are pear-shaped like your girl and you have a shorter torso. So a lot of clothes are not cut exactly right for your body off the rack. The struggle can feel very real. I'm a waiter, baby. But what I'm gonna say when you're looking for oversized pieces is to keep the following couple things in mind. Pay attention to the sleeve length, okay? You do not want sleeves that are gonna go past your palm. That's just gonna look like the piece is wearing you and just not the vibe you're going for. Like unless you're gonna put together a look, unless you're going to do like wisdom level looks, do not make that attempt because nine times out of 10, you're gonna pull that oversized jacket out of your closet and hate the way it fits you like in the next year or two. The other thing you really wanna consider is the structure of the piece. I personally love a good form fitted piece like this blazer from Zara right now. Literally cannot say enough good things. This is one of those classic blazers that has fun with the oversized trend while still making sure that you're going to love this piece year after year after year because you're gonna still have the oversized effect but it's still form fitted, it's still chic. You're gonna be able to get tons of wear out of this to your nine to five, out on the weekend, to your networking events because we have talked about, if you didn't watch the brunch video, how having a statement outfit really is such an easy icebreaker when you go to networking events. So a blazer like this plays on the trend while still being timeless. And I know you're seeing me mention some pieces on here and you're like, Jordan, I shop at these places and I'm never seeing these pieces. If you're finding that to be you, go ahead and sign up for my email list because that is where I share all of my favorite new and finds, plus the best sizing, how to style them. That's all gonna be there first directly to you so you can get your hands on these pieces at the same places you shop. Plus, 
Yo Girl does her best to give you exclusive discounts. So anybody that I'm partnering with for the upcoming month, I make sure to give you those codes so you can get these amazing pieces for less. So make sure if you haven't already to sign up for my email list so you don't miss out on these pieces. Now moving into another trend but not trend, Elevated Basics. At this point, I think we can go ahead and just call it what it is. Elevated Basics are a staple. These are not a trend anymore. Like having pieces that have something a little bit different, even as simple as crochet, elevates a basic. And those are just never going to be out of style. Like the oversized trend, the key here really is to pick pieces that you like. For me, it's all about texture. Usually I'll buy my like favorite pieces, a good tank top, a good pair of jeans, with some texture to it, that has just been my easy breezy, my easy like low effort. I just don't have time to process, I don't have time to think, baby. <laughs> Why? And so texture is the easiest way for me to play with an elevated basic. And you've seen this, not only with this top from Zara, but with these jeans from Iro. So chic, so fun. Again, such an easy way to elevate a look. Like you compare this with any other basic in your closet and you're gonna look amazing. Like I'm picturing this with a cream or white blazer that I just haven't found yet and I'm desperately looking for. Or even a cozy sweater as the fall season is upon us. Layering this even with, ooh, like a maxi cardigan. Giving just drama, giving coziness, but still something fun, something different. Yeah, yeah, I love literally, as I share with you guys, that's how a lot of my outfits do come to my mind is thinking through these videos with you and it's like, Ooh, yes, like that. So if you see that outfit in the next video, know that you heard about it here first. Another top trend that is super wearable, not my favorite, but is super wearable is the fuller skirts. I'm seeing a lot of this in like the silky fabrics, the satiny fabrics. These are super easy. If you are a skirt girly, like if you love you a good flowy maxi skirt, you find that just like pants don't pants the way they need to. Like why can I not find one that fits my thighs? It feels comfortable when I sit, baby. Wait, why is it, it's, we've been making clothes how long? What is so hard to figure out? <laughs> if that's how you feel, full skirts are absolutely going to be your friend for the fall season. And I really do love that you can layer secretly under these when the weather starts to get cold, right? Sneak a pair of just like leggings under there or some tights, you can add that extra layer. So you can really take this into not just the fall, but the winter season. And depending on the colors and the styles that you choose, because there's so many fun ones, you could stick with classic black or play around with cream, add some color. You'll be able to bring them back in the spring and wear them as the weather starts to warm back up in the next year. So full skirt girlies, it is your time to shine. Absolutely, if that's where you live, baby, you're gonna flourish this season. One that I'm on the fence about is Western Elements. But here's the thing. Okay, when I was really little, I lived in these purple cowgirl boots. These were my go-to shoe. I had blisters, I was uncomfortable, but I did not care. You could not convince me I wasn't the baddest bee in my purple Barney cowgirl boots. <laughs> However, as I've gotten older, I've not had the same love for the Western flair, but there is a lot of room to play around, not just with the Western boots. The thing that might've convinced me that I think could be the most wearable and the most fun, cowgirl hats. And the girl who did it for me, Janae. Look at how she wore this with a suit. How clean, how crisp, how like, that is fly. That was a bad bitch look and I'm obsessed. I literally, the moment I saw that was on my computer just like, mm -hmm, I may need a cowgirl hat because the way that she did that made it so easy and a hat is gonna be great for any season, right? You're gonna be able to wear that in the spring, in the summer, again in the fall. So that is again what I'm always, always going to encourage you as you're looking at trends because they're not a dirty word. It's not like it's gonna be a waste of your money. When you slow down and choose intentionally, that's how you're gonna find the pieces that aren't just gonna look good but make you feel good and last year after year after year. Like I definitely do see re-wearing a cowgirl hat again and again and feeling like a boss whenever I pull it out. So that hunt is very real. Coming back again this fall season, super high turtlenecks. Now, this is wearable. In my opinion, this is wearable. The key truly is finding the right earring situation. If you are somebody who has felt like, no girl, I can't be doing that. Like my neck, like the way my neck's set up, the way my neck and my bank account is set up. <laughs> I feel you, I totally feel you. It can be a little self-conscious when you feel like you don't have much of a neck. I go back and forth. Like some days I'm like, ooh, Look at, look at that neck, right? We got some neck. And then other days I'm like, where's my, where's my neck? 
I hope you know the reference I'm making with old dude and he had no neck trying to get her to marry. He was really trying. <laughs> However, the key if you are wanting to look really, really great and bring the high necks into your wardrobe for the fall because they are great when it's cold outside. Like that Michigan winter and like ready to run up on you and smack you in the face and knock all the air out of your lungs. You're really actually happy you have that ridiculously obnoxiously high turtleneck. So really just think about your earrings here. If you're not gonna go with like little studs depending on your face shape, longer earrings can actually work in your favor. The key is that you actually wouldn't want them as thick as like say these shop koi. The more slender kind really give you that juxtaposition that's so playful and looks so, so fun and really is that like je ne sais quoi that's in a lot of your favorite influencer that girl outfits. If you're ever on the fence like how can I step up a look regardless of if it's a trend or a basic, juxtaposition so having opposites really really just makes a look go up to that extra level and just i mean and you're gonna feel like a baddie when you get those compliments i'm just gonna let you know now like the way that the detroit girlies hype me up every time i leave the house i really owe a lot to them for why i am so confident in myself now because that hype that hype a detroit girly hype it's undefeated Another repeat offender on the scene this year is cropped jackets. I love this. These are super wearable regardless of your style. So I'm not going to go too in depth here. You're going to see like cropped trench coats. H&M has some good ones and they also have good full length trench coats as well. I love me a good cropped leather jacket. I have gotten this one from Fashion Nova in this gorgeous brown color because if you follow me on Instagram and you've been a long time follower, you know as soon as the heat leaves Michigan my wardrobe literally goes into like into chocolate covered baddie okay like i look like a chocolate covered peanut out there every single fall because brown is my color during this time of year so cropped leather jackets are also super fun to add some edge and are going to look really really cool and if you are a professional cropped blazers are a really fun way to dress up your nine to five looks and add a little bit of touch of something different while still being professional plus there's such a fun layering piece outside of work as well. If you saw my brunch outfits, you see how I dressed one down with some jeans for a really easy elevated brunch look. Doubling down with this next trend, cinched waist and belts, because I feel like usually the point of a belt, besides obviously keeping your pants up and not showing that plumber's crack to anybody or have that just for gapping in the back, the other way people use belts, and I love seeing belts styled and, and personally use them myself, is to cinch the waist, right? Is to add that body, is to be like, hmm, where'd that waist go? Exactly, the belt has hidden it. So that's what's really fun and wearable about this because you're gonna have some options. If you are struggling to find cinch jackets like this one from ASOS in this gorgeous denim, right? So fun, so wearable, great for layering. The similar one that I have is this one from Ankvaz, so gorgeous. Again, very similar, you're noticing it's like a little oversized, but really comes in at the waist. Bringing back that Zara blazer I showed you as well. Otherwise, you can go ahead and do the same thing with a belt. You have tons of options these days. I'm seeing some girls do the boho belt around the dress, really trying to cinch that waist in, add a little bit of flair. The Lueve belt is always going to be an amazing option for this as well that you're gonna wear year after year. Like the use I get out of mine is ridiculous. I just, the options are endless. How many ways could you think to dress it up? Infinity. That's not even how the song goes. But I do love those trends because again, they are super wearable. Belts you can choose however you feel. If you like a sleeker, slender belt, you don't have to get the big belts at all, right? That's what I'm always gonna encourage you when you're thinking about these trends. It does not have to be the exact version that you are seeing all the girlies wear. You can still pick and choose the pieces that you personally love. So it can be the thinner belts. It can be like cinched dress instead of a cinched jacket, right? Or some cinched pants. Like I have been standing over these ones in Tanika's wardrobe. Wanting to get my hands on something similar cause baby, best believe. I'll be unstoppable with a pair of those in the fall season. Moving into shoes, because I get asked this all the time about fall shoes. So of course, playing with the animal print that I talked about earlier, you can incorporate leopard print, cowhide into your shoe wear, into your shoe game. Ballet flats, which they're not my favorite. I'm gonna say it like they're wearable. I get the hype in some respects. I just also don't quite, it's just not for me. It's just not for me if I'm honest, like, and that's okay. That's the other thing I'm always gonna tell you about trends, like it's all right to put your foot down, like, you know, girl, 
I love that for you, but I don't feel the need. And ballet flats, while they are trending and they're easy to wear, so easy. The other one, of course, Western boots going in with the Western elements. There's so many options out there. I like part of me is like Jordan, because you loved those purple boots so much. You should just give like cowgirl boots a try now that you're older. I just really have not found a pair that, you know what I mean? Like really excite me, really, really excite me. I have talked about that in my videos. Like if you, like if you ever watch my lives during my unboxing and you just see the excitement, I always say like, if that's not how peace makes you feel, you can go ahead and save your money. So I just haven't found a pair of like cowgirl boots that are like, yep, that's it in my wardrobe today, right now, need it. Like take my money. Take it. The one I am very obsessed with because I have wider feet is that square toed boots are making a comeback. I'm not gonna lie. I am loving this here and there's so many amazing options. I've seen some on, on ASOS, which are so chic. Of course, Zara has some options. Steve Madden for the girls. Square toed boots are really, really wearable and something again that is an easy swap from the boots that you may have now. And you're gonna be able to wear this year after year after year. I wouldn't say you need to buy like a bunch, right? Either a good black pair is gonna go really, really long, or if you are somebody who wears more brown or neutrals, a dark brown is gonna be really safe. And if you're feeling playful, I personally do like to choose these in fun colors, so a green or a burgundy would also be amazing for the fall season, and you're gonna be able to add that pop of color and give a little bit more wear to say if you have a matching bag or a matching like hat or a matching top. You'll give more wear to that when you have some shoes that really kind of blended together than if you're somebody who's not always like a pop of color kind of girly, right? I know I threw a lot of trends at you. Feel free to run this back anytime through the season to get re-inspired, see some of the pieces, and of course, just like get those tips and tricks how to really make these pieces wearable. And if you wanna learn even more about making things wearable, things to keep in mind as you're shopping, as you're styling, go ahead and check out this entire playlist with all of my outfit ideas because you're gonna get way more information of just like how I'm putting together fits, I'm keeping in mind to make sure that not only I look fly and look good, but I feel good from the materials to pairing the pieces together and of course accessorizing. Before you do though, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video from your girl. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you over there.